Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is you're experiencing full habitation. You are experiencing full habitation. And today's scripture reference is John 14, 23. And it reads, Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father will love them and we will come and make our home with each of them. And so I actually looked up habitation because I heard this in my spirit and I, I had an idea of what it meant, but um, the uh, definition of habitation is the fact of living in a particular place or a house or home. And so what the Holy Spirit is saying today is that many of you uh, are experiencing full habitation uh, from the Lord. And what that means is that Jesus and the Father have made their home with you. And this is a big deal because this basically means it's all rigged in your favor. I mean, you've completely submitted yourself to the Lord. You're walking in Psalm 91 protection. You've pretty much given up your free will and made your will the will of the fathers and you're in alignment you're in alignment with with God and when you're in alignment with God and you obey his commandments he will come make his home with you it says right here my father will love them and we we will come and make our home with each of them. And that's really powerful, you guys. Imagine that the Lord has made his home with you. And the only way that that can really happen is when you completely submit yourself to the Lord, you pursue a holy and righteous lifestyle, you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, and you allow the Lord to heal you from the inside out, to deliver you from sin cycles in your life. You know, you're no longer pursuing sin because we know when we pursue sin, we are giving the enemy legal rights to make his home in us, into our soul realm, to affect our mind, will, and emotions. But when you completely submit yourself to the Lord, you repent from your sins, you obey his commandments as it's written in the Bible, then he will call you a friend. You're no longer a servant. He calls you a friend, as it says in John 14. And he and the Father will make their home with you. And when you, when the Lord makes his home with you, you're unstoppable for the kingdom of God. It means that you're attached to the vine. The Lord is working through you. You're fruitful for the kingdom of God. You're leading many people to Jesus Christ on this earth. You're spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Great Commission. And you have stepped into the pages of the book written about you in heaven, which is written in Psalm 139. So for many of you, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you feel this, you feel the shift, you feel the difference. And you know, you know at the end of the day that the only person's approval you need is the Lord. And he has stamped you with his approval and he really wanted you to get to the point where his was the only approval you needed. So many of you went through a wilderness season. You went through an isolation season, or you may still be going through this. And the Lord was pruning you. He was teaching you that you don't need anybody else except for him. And he's already approved you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. He knit you together in your mother's womb, as it says in Psalm 139. And now he's made his home with you. So... You know, nothing can stop you from continuing to walk in your destiny. As long as you stay in alignment, you continue to stay in prayer and read the word of God and pursue a holy and righteous lifestyle. You, you've made your body a, a, a 
sweet and pleasant place for for the Lord to reside. You know, you've you've swept up your home and it's a welcoming, um, fruitful environment. And the Lord has made his home with you and he's working through you to those around you. I mean, I know, you know, I was walking down the street yesterday and I can't help myself but to smile at every person I walk by. And sometimes I worry a little bit because it might be, you know, a man and I'm like, am I sending the wrong impression because I don't want to do that. But I, I have so much love inside me that I can't help but smile at the people around me. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I, you know, I don't want to send the wrong impression, but I just have a heart for people. And I, and I want to, you know, emulate the love of God wherever I go. And so I, you know, I can't help myself but to smile at people. And sometimes it might give the wrong impression. And I, you know, I have to be careful of that. But I trust the Lord that, you know, he, he made me um, this way and I'm fearlessly and wonderfully made. And I'm just going to continue smiling at people. And, you know, even if it gives the wrong impression sometimes, um, you know, I always, whenever people strike up conversations with me, I always tell them, you know, that I'm a Christian and um, even in Espanol, I know Cristiano <laughs> or Christiana. So I tell people that and that I'm here in this country to do missionary work. I mean, I, I really use every opportunity to try to tell people about God and um, how he's blessed me with the YouTube channel and how I you know, I get to spend every day just sharing the love of God. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. This is for a very specific group of people, but you will already know if this is you because he's, the Lord's already made his home with you and you feel it. You feel the difference. You've got peace and joy and comfort in every situation. It doesn't matter what's going on around you, you know, what the enemy throws at you, what fiery darts he throws your way. You're bulletproof. You've got on your full armor of God as it's written in Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. You've got the peace that passeth understanding. You know who you are in Jesus Christ. You know your authority over the enemy. You're walking in Psalm 91 protection. You're, you're in step with your team of angels who's been sent to lead, guide, and direct you on your path and to support you in this mission on, on the earth, your, your assignment on this earth, which is to spread the love and light of Jesus Christ, to shine his light in dark places. You know, we're taking back territory for Jesus Christ on this earth. And you have opened yourself up to the Lord to let him work through you. And you've been very fruitful for the kingdom of God. The Lord is very proud of you. He loves you very much. He's, you know, he chose you for this assignment. He formed you in your mother's womb for exactly what you're doing for a time such as this. I know I've got a lot of Esthers who watch this channel as well. So, and a lot of King Davids out there. So just know that, um, you know, I'm so th <clears throat> thankful for all of my new subscribers. Please hit the notification bell so that you receive these messages as they're being put out. And I just want to thank all of you who've partnered with this ministry financially. I pray over every seed that the Lord will continue to lead God and direct you into his perfect will for your life. I pray for everyone who receives these messages that they will edify the body of Christ and ultimately this channel will glorify God and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So again, just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.